You're probably hearing a lot about the Constitution as Australia heads towards our first referendum in more than 20 years. If you're thinking it's a massive, dusty, old-timey book like this, think again. Australia's Constitution is only about 12,000 words over eight chapters. For reference, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, the shortest Harry Potter book, is more than six times that length. And it's quite short. The document sets out how the Parliament, the States and the judicial system all work, as well as rules on finance, trade and also this little miscellaneous section as well. It's not a particularly exciting read. Same House or next session again passes the proposed law with or without any amendments which have been made, but it is important. Essentially, it's the rule book for how Australia is governed and it's been in place for over a century. But it can only be changed through a national public vote called a referendum. That hardly ever happens though, because referendums are notoriously difficult to win in Australia. That's because to make any constitutional change, you need to win support not only from a majority of the population overall, but also a majority of the states. Sorry, territories. If you're an Australian citizen who's over 18, you'll need to vote in the October 14 referendum. The question itself is actually pretty simple. Yes or no? But if you want to know more about how the vote or the voice to parliament will work, head to ABC News for more Referendum Explained. Referendum Explained. Send us your questions on Instagram or TikTok at ABC News.